Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 7.6 from Sadiku book. So the question is, the switch in figure 7.86 has been closed for a long time and it opens at t is equal to 0. Find Vt for t greater than or equal to 0. Okay, remember that the formula for the capacitor is Vt is equal to V at infinity plus V0 minus V infinity multiplied by E to the minus T over tau. So we need three variables to be find out here. The first one is V infinity. Okay, here. And then the second one will be V0 right here. And then the third one is this tau here. Okay, so I want to explain the step one by one. So the first step, I will find out V0. Finding V0. You should always find V0 first. And then the second one, you should find the time constant. Find time constant tau. And then lastly, you should find the final resting voltage or V infinity. So V infinity. Okay, so this is the first three steps and let's dive into it. So this has been closed for a long time. So before T is equal to zero, this switch is closed and it has been closed for a long time. So the capacitor will be equal to open circuit because the charge has been drained so it will equal to uh, open circuit so our circuit will becomes like this and the target is to find out this v0 here right and i think this is easy enough for us because this is just forming one loop right so let's do exactly that Let's do KVL at this loop. So KVL at the loop. Okay, KVL said that the sum of the voltage will equal to zero, right? Okay, so I will have minus 40, minus 44 plus 10 kilo ohm, but then that will be need to be multiplied by the current because this is a uh, resistance and we need voltage and then lastly we will have two kilo ohm multiplied by the current here and all of that will equal to zero so i will have 12i is equal to 40 so i will have i is equal to 40 divided by 12 Maybe let's simplify this a little bit by dividing this by 4 and dividing this by 4. So I'll have 10 over 3. The unit will be milliampere, but we are asked about the voltage here. So we'll have V0 there, or V. And that should be the current here multiplied by the resistance. So I will have I multiplied by R. Okay, so we will have V0. Here the I is 10 over 3. And then multiplied by the resistance there. So I will have 2 kilo ohm. So I'll have 2. So I'll have V0 is equal to 20 divided by 3. So we will have V0 is 6.6. And the unit here, I think that should be volt. Okay, this is the important value number one. Okay, let's save this. But then the switch gets gets open here. So let's get back to here after t is equal to zero. So we need to find out the time constant when the t is exactly equal to zero. So our circuit becomes like this, right? So this is only RC circuit. And what we, what we can do is just multiply it 
to get the time constant because tau is r multiplied by c. So our r is 2 kilo ohm. So 2 multiplied by 10 to the third power because we want it into SI unit here. And then the capacitance that will be 40 microfarad. So I will have 10 to the minus 6. 2 multiplied by 40 is 80. And then we will have 10 to the minus 3. Yeah, 10 to the minus 3. Or this should be 0.08, I think. Yeah, it should be right, right? I don't know. Zero point. I mean, 8 multiplied by 10 to the minus... Uh, that's not helping. Oh, I mean 80, right? 80. Yeah, 0 0.08. That should be the tau. So we got the tau here. And remember, we still need to find out one more, one more variables here. So we will have t infinity, t0, and tau. We only get v0 here and tau from here now let's get v infinity so the circuit at t is equal to infinity because the charge in the capacitor has been drained this will be open circuit so the circuit will looks like this and our task is to find out this v infinity because the circuit has no source here so v infinity is clearly equal to zero okay now let's assembly that all together so remember we have v0 is 6.67 okay that will be 6.67 volt and then what is tau tau is 0 0.08 okay So tau is 0.08. Oh, that should be four with t, not t. Okay, and then v infinity. I, if I remember correctly, that is zero. So yeah, that is zero. Zero. So what we need to do finally is just to assemble them. So we will have v t. Vt is equal to V infinity, which is 0. And then plus T0, I will have 6.67 minus V infinity. So I will have 0. And then multiplied by E minus T divided by tau. Tau is 0 0.08. Okay. And so we can simplify this. So I will have Vt is equal to 6.67 e to the... Okay, I think we can simplify that, right? 1 divided by 0 0.08 is... Yeah, 12.8? 12.5, okay. So I will have minus 12.8. 5t okay and this is the case for t is greater than equal to zero or after the switch is open so this is the answer for this question i think that's all for this problem thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye